The second factor based on which our speaking is scored in IELTS is vocabulary. But the question is, what does it mean exactly? And based on which standards our vocabulary is measured and assessed in this test? Through this video, I'm going to talk in detail about vocabulary in IELTS speaking test. Lexical resource refers to the range of vocabulary that you can use while you're speaking. To improve our score in this section, we should take into account these four main factors. Number one, the use of right collocations. Number two, the use of less common words. Number three, the true use of word formation. And number four, the precise and accurate use of vocabulary. First of all, the true use of right collocation, I mean words that are naturally used together like make a phone call, get a stock in traffic jam, etc. Second of all, to get a higher score for lexical resource, you should also be able to use more less common vocabularies. Now, what do I mean by less common vocabulary? Well, read this example. Examiner, what's the weather like in your country in winter? Student, well, it snows and it is sometimes very, very cold. This is considered to be a poor example. Now, compare this version which can take a higher score. Student, well, it usually snows a lot and in some days it can be bitterly cold. Did you notice the collocation bitter the goal in the second example? Thirdly, it is also important to improve your knowledge of word formation by improving your knowledge of suffixes and prefixes, which will be discussed in details later on. For example, sentence one. The meaning of happy is something relative. What I mean is that it can be definition absolute by people or experts. As you can see in this sentence, in some parts, some words are used incorrectly considering the role of word formation. It can be fixed like this. The meaning of happiness is something relative. What I mean is that it can't be defined absolutely by people or experts. You should also keep in mind that by all means, continue adding to your vocabulary sets. But at the same time, do not forget the importance of accuracy when it comes to vocabulary. Another important issue in the case of lexical resources is about the precision of the use of vocabularies. In other words, it is about applying vocabulary which can convey the meaning precisely. It is about the true language use. As a case in point, let's have a look at these two examples. Example 1. I don't think my secondary school was good because of the teachers and facilities there. Example 2. I think my secondary school was really disappointing, which could be down to the lack of passionate teachers and high quality facilities. As you can notice, the second sentence can depict a much clearer image in the mind of a listener. And that is because of the precision of the vocabulary. To improve the precision of your sentences, obviously you should improve the range of your vocabulary so that you can express yourself more precisely and meaningfully by applying more related and sophisticated words. In fact, as I said before, we should avoid applying common words such as good, bad, nice, beautiful, lovely, funny, boring, happy, sad, small, big, etc. However, instead, try to use more sophisticated words such as brilliant, awesome, terrible, thrilled, down in dumps, depressed, hilarious, etc. If you want to get a band score 7 or higher, you need to use some uncommon vocabularies and collocations. They check if you use a good language in your talking.